While ad limina meetings are taking place at the Vatican, the USCCB elected their new Episcopal president, Archbishop Jose Horacio Gomez, from the Archdiocese of Los Angeles. He was elected Tuesday during the General Assembly meeting in Baltimore from November 11th to the 14th, and was predicted since he was the previous vice president. The trend is that the vice president becomes the president, um, and uh, so, you know, I think if you were a betting person, you would, that would be where you would probably want to put your money. For him to be willing to, to put his name forward and to have served so beautifully as vice president, which of course in the last year, because of Cardinal DiNardo's illness, uh, he has had to uh, carry a lot of the, uh, the responsibility and has done a wonderful job. One of the topics close to Gomez's heart is immigration. Born in Monterrey, Mexico, he's the first person of Hispanic descent to be the USCCB president. Having Archbishop Gomez as the president, well, this is something that he will take care, you know, of course, because, you know, all bishops want that. And he as the president, you know, he is, uh, he is the spokesperson, right, of all of us, represents us. So I know that he's very sensitive to this issue. Through his heart for the migrant, Archbishop Gomez is also closely aligned with Pope Francis, who's often spoken on the issue. The Pope also mentioned it during the ad limina meetings with the bishops in Rome. I'm glad that the Holy Father yesterday, you know, in our audience, um, he mentioned that to the bishops, to do whatever we can, right? It's about, like I said before, it's about human dignity. You know, um, every country has the duty the responsibility and the right to keep, you know, the borders safe of their own country. But on the other hand, you know, when people leave their home because that's the only choice they have. The U.S. bishops believe this theme and the new president of the USCCB could unite them even closer with Rome, all the way from North America. Rome Reports is now available on your TV. Thanks to our new app, Rome Reports Premium, you can watch exclusive content, documentaries, special reports, analysis, and more. You'll be able to access Rome's most recent news, now in HD and without commercials. Download the Rome Reports app in English or in Spanish. It's available on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, and Android TV.